In today's video, we are diving into the world of PhD opportunities at the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology, Patna. Whether you are a working professional aiming to earn your doctorate or a passionate researcher seeking full-time engagement, this video will break down everything you need to know. From eligibility criteria to the types of fellowships available, let's get started. So, uh, IIT Patna is one of the newer IITs which was established on 6th August 2008 by an act of Indian Parliament. Despite being a relatively young uh, IIT, it has made significant stride in research and education. As of April 2016, IIT Patna had around 670 students enrolled uh, with them in the BTEC program 161 in MTech and 259 PhD scholars. If you are considering pursuing your doctoral journey at IIT Patna, let's explore the various PhD disciplines and eligibility criteria. So the PhD disciplines at IIT Patna uh, are very wide. Uh, so, just now I am broadly telling you the disciplines. Within each discipline, there are multiple sub areas as well. So, they offer a PhD in chemical and biochemical engineering, chemistry, civil and environmental engineering, computer science and engineering, including which also includes the artificial intelligence. Followed by, they also offer a PhD in electrical engineering, mathematics, mechanical engineering, materials engineering, physics humanities and social sciences please note that management as a domain is offered under humanities and social sciences in iit patna so they do also offer a phd in management what are the qualification that you will require to do a phd from iit patna let's break it down in terms of the different departments that you're applying for so for a PhD in Engineering and Technology, candidate must have either a M.Tech, M.E. or a Bachelor's degree in Engineering and Technology or a Master's degree in Science. In all these cases, you should have at least 6.5 CPI or 60% marks. For PhD in Sciences, candidates can have an M.Phil or a Master's degree in Sciences with again 6.5 CPI or 60% marks or a even Bachelor's degree in Engineering Technology if they meet the same criteria, they can still apply for PhD in Sciences. Moving on to PhD in Humanities and Social Science, which by the way also includes your management. Then for this case, you can have either an MPhil or a Master's degree in Arts, Commerce, Science, Management with at least 6.5 CPI or 60% marks. Alternately, candidates with Master's degree in Engineering Technology and even Design can also apply for Humanities and Social Sciences PhD. So, uh, in case you want a fellowship to do a PhD, then for that, in addition to the above qualification, you will also require, uh, that means if you want to become a full-time scholar with a PhD, you will be required to qualify at a GATE or a UGC NET. However, the GATE requirement is waived off for candidates holding a bachelor's degree from uh, CFTA, that is Centrally Funded Technical Institutes, with at least 8 CGPA and above. Now, uh, what are the different categories under which the PhD scholars in IIT Patna fall? So you can apply as a regular on a full-time institute fellow. So under institute fellowship, the scholars would be working full-time on their PhD and they will receive an assistantship from the institute. This category is ideal for those who want to dedicate 100% of the time to PhD and have not qualified any fellowship exam. The second category is research fellow, GRF or SRF. Scholars in this category receive external fellowship from recognized funding agencies like CSIR, UGC, DBT or NBHM. This option is great for those who have secured funding independently and want to focus 100% on doing their PhD full time. The last category is the employed and the part time candidates who are regular employees in their organization and can pursue a part time PhD while continuing their professional duties. A minimum of two years of professional experience is required. Additionally, they must produce a no objection certificate NOC from the employer on the day of the interview. This category is ideal for working professionals looking to enhance their qualification without leaving their jobs. So, uh, let's talk about the admission cycle to the PhD programs at IIT Patna. So, typically IIT Patna admissions open twice a year 
and for two sessions one of the session opens has comes up in july and the other one in january keep an eye on the official it patna website for the latest notification to make sure you don't miss out on the application day so applying to it patna for your phd admission can be a transformative journey uh, offering access to world class research facility and vibrant academic environment If you are aspiring to join this prestigious institute but are unsure about the application process eligibility or how to make your profile stand out don't worry at zptc we are here to help you at every step of the way from explaining the phd process and guiding you on your research topic to helping you select and finalize your sop proposal uh, and even helping you prepare for your interview we've got it all covered Reach out to us today on the number given below and for more valuable PhD information don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much